tense. Hey there guys, Paul here from the engineeringmindset.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at inverters, their uses and how they work. Coming up, we'll first of all look at the difference between alternating and direct current. Then we'll look at the purpose of inverters and where they are used. Then we'll move on and have a look at a simple example of how they work. And finally, we'll look at a more advanced pulse width modulation example. So what is an inverter? Well, let's start at the basics first of all. So you probably know that there are two types of electrical power in use, which are direct current or DC for short, which is applied by batteries and solar panels, etc. Now this type of power is mainly used by small digital goods with circuit boards, etc. The other type of power is alternating current or AC. Now this is supplied from the power sockets in your homes and this will typically be used to power larger appliances. Both of these types of power have their uses and limitations so we'll often need to convert between the two to maximize their use. An inverter is a device which is used to convert between direct current DC and alternating current AC. If you use an oscilloscope to look at the signal of these two types of power, you will see that direct current sits at its maximum voltage and continues in a straight line. That's because its current flows directly in only one direction, which is why it's called direct current. Think of it a bit like a river or a canal. It's always at its peak and it flows in just one direction. If you looked at alternating current, you'll see a wave-like pattern where the voltage alternates between its two peak voltages in both the positive half and then through to the negative half of its cycle. This is because the current travels back and forth. It's a bit like the tide of the ocean where it reaches its maximum high tide and then transitions through to its maximum low tide. And in between, the current of the seawater will flow and change direction. So an inverter simply converts from direct current DC to alternating current AC, and this is a very useful invention. You can also convert from AC to DC using a rectifier, and it's common to find both of these in some devices. So we'll often need to convert between the two to maximize their use. Convert. This means to change from one form or use to another. And maximize is to use something in a way that will get the best result. Which is applied by batteries and solar panels, etc. Supply. Give something that is needed. You will see that direct current sits at its maximum voltage and continues in a straight line. Continue to keep doing something. It's a bit like the tide of the ocean where it reaches its maximum high tide and then transitions through to its maximum low tide. Transitions to change from one form or use to another. Where the voltage alternates between its two peak voltages in both the positive half and then through to the negative half of its cycle. Alternate is to change from one thing to another and back again. Where the voltage alternates between its two peak voltages in both the positive half and then through to the negative half of its cycle. Cycle is a one complete set of a repeated action. Now this type of power is mainly used by small digital goods with circuit boards, etc. Circuit board. Used to carry electrical energy. The other type of power is alternating current or AC. Now this is supplied from the power sockets in your homes and this will typically be used to power larger appliances. But Appliance. Household machine. Both of these types of power have their uses and limitations. Limitation. Is it a maximum use or ability? An inverter is a device which is used to convert between direct current DC and alternating current AC. Device. 
a machine made for special purpose. So an inverter simply converts from direct current DC to alternating current AC and this is a very useful invention. Invention is a new machine or device that has never been before. So what is an inverter? Well let's start at the basics first of all. Phrase, let's start with. This is used to begin or start a talk or presentation. So what is an inverter? Well let's start at the basics first of all. First of all, this is used to introduce the first stage in a process or list. That's because it's current. That's because its current flows directly in only one direction, which is why it's called direct current. Which is why. This is used to highlight the difference between two or more people or things. Think of it a bit like a river or a canal. It's always at its peak and it flows in just one direction. Think of it a bit like. This is used to get someone to imagine something that is the same. This is because the current travels back and forth. Back and forth is a repeated movement backward and forward or from side to side. 